So, hey, everyone, I have got Mr. Dale Schlegel of Tailored Insurance Solutions with me this week. Hey, Dale, how are you today? Hey, Shelby, I'm great. Thank you. How are you? I am good. I am good. So, Dale, you and I have um, known each other for years. I, I, I think it's at least four or five at this point. And we've uh, been networking for a long time. And you are one of my go-to insurance brokers for my clients. And you have been able to save so many of my clients so much money that I just, it's not fair to keep you a secret and not share you with everybody else. So <laughs> I wanted to uh, take a moment and just ask you to tell us a little bit about you and your company first. Yeah, well, thank you. Um, thanks for having me on, on your show. I, I really appreciate it. And uh, yeah, so I'm an independent agent. Um, and I think that really appeals to uh, you and to the people that you've been sending me because they can talk to me and I can work with about 15 different companies to find them the best rate. Uh, whereas if they may go to a, uh, a captive agent or somebody that only works with one or two carriers, it's more legwork for your client or more legwork for the home buyer. So um, if you speak to an independent agent like myself, we have access to multiple carriers. We can see who has the best rates and the best deals, but it's not always about the best rate. Uh, sometimes it's about coverage. Uh, you obviously want to make sure you have good coverage. And sometimes uh, we might not be the lowest rate, but we, we will offer you the best coverage out there for we are, the best bang for your buck. So is what we go for. So what when you say the best coverage, how do you determine what that is for someone and in, in when they're buying a house? Yeah, so we factor in a lot of things. Um, insurance is a financial product. I'm not a financial planner, but it's insurance is a small portion of a larger financial plan. And obviously, if you're purchasing a home, there's a lot of financial change that's going to be happening. So we want to make sure that you're protecting not only what you're purchasing, but all of your assets, no, no matter how little, little or large they may be. Um, we want to make sure we're extending that. So we can, there's multiple tiers of coverage on auto insurance. There's multiple tiers of coverage on home insurance. And then we can do a layer above that as well, like an umbrella policy. So we take a look at basically the value of who we're talking to um, and the value of what they do for a living. And we figure out what's going to be the best liability coverage for them uh, to make sure that we can protect them as much as possible. So I know one of the things that when we are looking at houses um, or if we're going to put an offer in, I often will send you the seller's disclosure because there's certain things that when a new homeowner is buying a house that you have to ask the question for in order to find a surability. So what, would, what are some of those questions that you ask them? Yeah, so uh, a lot of it can be found right on the seller's disclosure, but the main things that we'll ask uh, and, and what we're looking for on the disclosure are things like if there was a claim uh, or a roof repair or um, a flood, things like that, so that we are accurately rating uh, what we need to be doing, because worst case scenario would be quoting something for your client at one rate. And then we run a report, find out there were claims, and now the rate skyrocketed, and we don't want that to happen. So um, the things that we would ask your clients or home buyers in, in general would be, what do you plan to do with the house? Are you moving in right away? Are you renovating? Um, if you're doing renovations, what type of renovations are you doing? Uh, if you're going to be getting in there and just painting, that's no big deal. But if you're going to be getting into the house and excavating for a pool, or building an addition onto it, that all has to be factored into what type of insurance you're buying, as well as the, the coverage that you're purchasing. So uh, that's one of the main things that, that we would talk to them about. So when someone, you bring a good point, now this is not just any home buyer, but any homeowner, they do um, work on their home when they you know, finish their basement or they put a pool in or they add an addition, um, those are all times that they should obviously call you, correct? Absolutely. Uh, anytime you're putting value into your house and writing a check to somebody to add something onto your house, there should be a conversation with your insurance agent. 
because if God forbid you're you put an addition on your house and and the house burns down the next day, you need to make sure you have coverage for what you just paid for to put onto that house. So having that conversation with your agent uh, is definitely an important thing. Now, I know that in the past, I've talked to uh, everyone about when they have work done in their house and they have a contractor coming to their house, that they should ensure that there are also an additional insured on that contractor's insurance policy. How easy is that for them to have happen? Yeah, so that is very easy. That brings up a great point. Um, anybody that is doing work on your home, even landscapers on the exterior of your house, uh, you definitely want to make sure they have insurance and make sure that they have you listed as additional insured. It would be one sheet of paper they would give you called a certificate of insurance. It takes the insurance agent about five minutes to do that. So um, that is something you just wanna hold on to in the, the span of time they're working for you to make sure that uh, if something happened on their job site, that you're, which is your home, that you're covered for it. Um, and I write insurance for contractors as well. Uh, and that is something that I do on a regular basis is these certificates of insurance. Very simple to do, but very important for the homeowner to have it. Well, and I was going to bring that point up is that you don't only do residential, you also are a commercial insurance agent. So what do you insure? Let's, let's say, say about what do you do residential and commercial? Just give us the gamut of everything. Okay, so uh, personal lines and commercial lines. So personal lines, we do everything from a small motorcycle, boat, RV, quad, all those toy type policies mm -hmm. um, up to your, we write multi-million dollar homes, we write vacation homes. And then crossing over from that vacation home, we, into the commercial realm, we write Airbnbs, uh, rental properties, landlord policies, but a big one that we've been dealing with on the liability end of things is directors and officers or any type of professional liability that um, a professional would be offering you. So we work with financial planners, we work with real estate agents, um, CPAs, accountants to make sure they're protected and their clients are protected if they make an error in the work that they're doing. So, um... You were just, I was just going to have another train of thought there when we were talking, oh, nonprofits. You also, or people that are doing events, we had talked about that. Like yes. if you were going to have somebody you know, do a, a Christmas party at their office, mm -hmm. they have insurance for that? Yep. So we, been that with the holiday season coming up, yeah, Christmas parties are, are big or New Year's parties. And we can write special event coverage, which would include liquor liability. We do it all year long, not, I mean, it, more this time of year because of these types of events, but we can do 5Ks, uh, walkathons, we've done multiple weddings. So any venue that you would rent or any venue that you're having a group of people gathering, um, specifically if you're bringing in a caterer or uh, a bartender, you should have uh, special event coverage. And all it is is a short-term liability policy for the span of that event. Uh, and it would cover you if, if something were to happen. And the liquor liability would extend if something if somebody were to overconsume and, and there were to be a claim arising from that. So it's a good thing to protect yourself. Venues typically require it. And if you're having something at your own office, you, sh you should definitely do it. It should definitely be a requirement. Okay, so any other types of insurance do you this do you as a broker cover? Do you do life insurance? Do you do cybersecurity? What else? What else do you do? Yeah, so so we do not do life or health insurance. Okay. Um, you work with other professionals that do that. Yeah. I work with other professionals that do that, and that's what they focus on. So I focus on the property and casualty side of things. So. Um, in addition to what I already mentioned, we do uh, auto liability, whether that's your personal auto or commercial. So we can do fleets of vehicles. We've done cross country truckers, um, tow trucks. With the winter coming up, we have a lot of uh, snow removal business coming in. Um, but as you mentioned cybersecurity, that's a big one right now, cyber liability. And specifically for businesses, uh, I feel like a lot of business owners don't necessarily consider that being a risk uh, to them because they might 
the, the biggest thing that I come up to is a business owner saying, well, I'm too small for somebody to hack into my business. And that's probably true. But 80% of claims for cybersecurity on small businesses are actually somebody getting a hold of your phone that has access to all of your client information or stealing your laptop out of your car. Um, and if you have any record of client payment information or social security numbers on those devices, there's, uh, a, there's a cybersecurity issue there. Mm -hmm. And it's very costly uh, if you don't have the insurance to uh, go through all the steps you need to to protect yourself. So Dale, if someone has any insurance questions, how can they get a hold of you? I'm everywhere. Uh, they, can, <laughs> I know. they can get a hold of us on Facebook. Our Facebook page is Tailored Insurance Solutions. Um, our phone number at the office is 267-450-4836. Or they can go to our website um, and they can contact us from there. They can submit for a quote from there as well, or just learn a little bit more uh, about our agency. And that website is tailoredinsurance.solutions. There is no .com, <laughs> tailorinsurance.solutions. All right, so I always end with, if I didn't ask you something that you wished I had asked you something and you wish that you could tell us now, what would that be? Right now, I would love <laughs> if you asked me, what is a great tip for homeowners right now? What is a great tip for homeowners right now, Dale? I'm so glad you asked me that, Shelby. <laughs> If you look out your window right now, it's fall. There's leaves everywhere. It's a little nerve wracking. Last night with being Halloween, uh, we had a lot of people walking around. Huge problem this time of year is people slipping and falling on wet leaves. And that carries right over in front, whether it's in front of your house, in front of your business, or it carries over to driving. If you hit your brakes and you're on wet leaves, you're going to slide. So be very careful this time of year. Um, clean up your leaves uh, in your driveway, pull them out of your gutters. They can cause a lot of damage, um, whether it's property damage or a liability claim. So get those leaves out of here. That is a great tip, Dale. I'm so glad I asked. <laughs> <laughs> Me too. <laughs> so guys, honestly, I have known Dale for years. I constantly refer you. You're honest and, and sometimes you can't help my clients. Then they, you know, are, are getting a better rate of where they're at. And you tell them that, yeah. you know, try to sell them anything. You truly do have uh, their best interest at heart. And that's why I continue to send people your way. So thank you very much for that. I really appreciate it. Well, thank you. We take honestly, very, honesty very seriously. And we want to make sure that we take care of your clients. I appreciate that. So guys, I hope you have a great week and I will see you next week. Bye.